adding a Facebook like button to your website. Adding a like button is an easy way for you to plug your website into Facebook. Visitors to your website can tell their friends about what they found there and drive traffic back to you. When you go through all of the steps that are recommended by Facebook, visitors to your site will be able to add your website in their newsfeed along with comments about it as well. It's not hard to add a Facebook like button to your website, but it does take several steps. If you're using a content management system, such as WordPress or Joomla, you may want to add a like button using a plugin. We include references to where these plugins are located in the checklist for this video. If you are running your website using individual HTML files and want to add the Facebook like button by hand, or if you're comfortable with building modules inside your content management system, we will take you to the developers area of Facebook and show you how to add the Facebook button yourself. First, go to this address, which of course will also be in the checklist for the video. You can build a very simple like button simply using the step one as shown, but if you do this, you'll miss some very important benefits of adding the like button. Since you are giving up important space on your website, it's best to go through all the steps so that you can get the most bang for your buck. Begin by filling out the form in step one. If you are building a like button for a particular web page only, include that in the URL in this form. The best thing about this button code builder is that on the right hand side, it shows you a sample of what your button will look like. Now, decide whether you want a send button. This will allow your visitors to send your website information to any Facebook friend or group. Then, take a look at which layout styles you may want. Determine what width you want the button to be. Be careful here, since some of the advanced features will need a width of 400 pixels. Once you've done this, decide whether you want your Facebook friends, who may have liked your website previously, to appear underneath. Select what verb you want to display on the button, the color scheme, and the font. Then click Get Code. This will generate the code that you will need to add to your website. Copy and save this into a text file because there's one more thing left to do to make your Facebook Like button work at its best. In the next step, you're going to generate code that Facebook will use to pass back information to you and make your Like button be more interactive to your visitors. This is done by generating code that will go into the head area of your web page. The first box is your title, as it will appear when it's passed back to Facebook. You can use your domain or a descriptive title. Descriptive titles that are short work best since it will make the Facebook posting that appears on your visitors' newsfeed more enticing to their friends. Type is for the type of business that your website best represents. The URL is the main location of the website, which is usually the domain name. Since Facebook uses images in the newsfeed postings, you should include an image to represent your business. You need to use the complete direct URL to the image. Then add your site name, which should be your company name. The admin is added by default. You should leave it as it is. Next, click Get Tags, and this will generate the Facebook tags for you. Copy and paste it in a safe location along with your button code. Now that you have your code for both the button and the information that Facebook needs, go to either the head section on the HTML page files you plan to add a like button to, or the template file for your content management system. Paste in the tag code in the head section and save. Now, determine where you want your button to appear and then add your button code and save it to that spot in your HTML code. Even though you were looking at what the button was supposed to look like as you are building it, many times it looks different once it's on your website. You may need to play around with it to get it in an appropriate spot that works well. After you have added the like button to your site, be sure to read the FAQ at the bottom of the developer page. You might find it a little technical, but there's one real smart thing that is in there. Go to facebook.com forward slash insights and register your domain. This will allow you to see information and statistics to see who is using your like button. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to stop by our site to pick up the checklist for the video, which includes more information and resources.